Yay! Hi guys! Oh my god, I feel like I haven't been with you in so long. So, oh god, where do I even start? Because I just can't make a video about today's topic and not fill you in on what has been going on. Especially because today's topic kind of blends in with that. Well, not kind of, it does. Anyway, I first want to say y'all are the shit i'm telling you yo i have like the sickest best youtube subscribers ever so the emails even the text messages from those of you that have gotten my number off the website and that have done even also have done readings with me um from the moment you missed the first video it was i guess y'all were kind of like uh, okay maybe we're gonna get it tomorrow but when the second one didn't come through oh my god the flood of hey ronnie sending love hope you and the family's okay didn't get a video from you just love not hey ronnie where's the video it was i hope everything's okay so, like email after email after email after text message after text message and you guys right now i'm running a special for my um a halloween special for readings I'm sure you guys have already signed up to my newsletter on my website if you have not make sure to do so so you've already received the notification of that special but because of all the love like you guys have to understand how much I really like getting up here and communicating with you because it's like that that girlfriend and boyfriend that you could just like totally talk to all day <laughs> It's, I love it. So this is, I love sitting down and talking to y'all. But because of all this love, I mean, it just really warmed my heart. I was sick, but I'm gonna get to that story. But um, while I was sick and I was getting these emails and everything, it was just, it just made me feel so good. Like, damn, like, where were we a family? Oh my God. Okay, so I wanna run a special after this Halloween special just for my YouTubers. It's gonna be like YouTubers appreciation special. So I don't know what I'm gonna concoct. I don't know, maybe y'all can think of something. But um, after this Halloween stuff is done, it's me and y'all, okay? Because that, I'm so thankful for every email and text message that y'all sent. Um, Patrick, what's up, dude? <laughs> Like, you ever sent me a text message every morning, sending love, sending prayers. How are you doing today? How are you doing today? And it was just like the emojis, everything. My heart is filled with love, okay? God, I wish that like more of us could do these random acts of love because I appreciate the little things like taking out time in your day to actually send me an email. You know, there's times where I will go and um, post a message on somebody's website if I feel like they've done something great. You know what? I just did that to Pillsbury. Yes, my greedy ass contacted Pillsbury. <sighs> Matter of fact, I'm on this new fitness regimen, so no more Pillsbury for me. But oh my god, I was so happy that Pillsbury had like all natural chocolate chip cookie dough. <laughs> Especially because I be eating that thing out the tube. I'm about time. Y'all ain't put all that shit in it. So I called, well, I contacted Pillsbury. I was like, I just want to say thank you for the alternative, the natural thing. And I mean, I know how much time it takes. You might think it's something so simple, but I know how much time it takes to say, let me pause my day and just send this email. So I'm very appreciative because I know we are very, very busy people. Um, so thank you. So, okay, let's get to the story. <laughs> I, you guys know I've been working on my YouTube, I'm not my YouTube, my psychic development course. Now, the thing about this psychic development course is it is filled with so much stuff. I have layer after layer after layer because I didn't want it to be something like, like I took a psychic development course before and when I left, I there was a lot of anticipation for the next one. When are you going to hold another one? Because there's still so much more I want to learn. And I feel for the basic, for somebody just awakening and for someone just trying to connect things, they shouldn't have to go from one, like leaving a cliffhanger um, I tried not to do that. Of course, the mediumship class will follow the psychic development course. So, but I wanted there to be as much as I could. So it's a very big, lengthy course. And so I have been working my ass off and trying to hit this deadline to have it done so then I can finish writing my book. It's the woman in me that likes to put stuff on my plate, okay? So the next time, I do a reading and and I have to tell you about taking stuff off your plate be like Ronnie so uh, how's your plate looking shawty cuz um I was just piling it on okay so anyway the um, I had a lot on my plate I was 
just really trying to make this deadline that I've set for myself and on top of everyday life. And then when you own your own business, you have ideas that are always like formulating in your head. It's like idea here, idea here. And I have this thing where I write my ideas down in notebook, but some of those ideas, it, there's an urgency behind it. And so I'm like, I, I have to do that now. I'm gonna do that, I can do that. And so I was wearing myself down. Now getting, this is where we, I kind of mesh with the topic of today. Um, I kept getting a praying mantis on my, oh, my alarm's about to go off. That's okay. You're just going to listen to my music. So I've been getting a praying mantis on my balcony door. This, I'm actually in my room. The balcony door is, that's the bathroom. That's the balcony door. So every day I go out praying mantis, praying mantis. He's just like hanging on my door. And my daughter's like really creeped out by him. So I would like move him, put him somewhere else. It never fails. Every day he's right there. And so I looked at him and I'm like, what are you trying to tell me today? I know you're trying to tell me something. And I, um... I know this because when spirit animals, when spirits start speaking to me through animals, I was kind of like, the freak am I, doctor? Do a little hair? Like, what is going on? Um, now, let me go back because then I'm going to go back to, I'm going to go back in the past and then I'm going to come back to the semi-present to let you know about the praying mantis and how that connected. So when I started having my um, connections with animals, I'm not an animal person, y'all, okay? I'm not even going to lie. I, I love them. I think they're so cute. Like, my sister has a bunch of dogs, and they're like her kids. I think they are adorable. Up until the point I have to walk you when I don't feel like walking you. It's cold outside, and I have to walk you. You pee on my floor, some kind of OCD. Like, that stuff be pissing me off. So I'm not like, like, as an aunt to animals... My little nephews and niece, my animal buddies, they're so cute. But they're just like, look, on Ronnie don't play. You piss on her floor and you just might be kicked out. They know me by now, okay? And only one gets away with it. But um, I'm not that patient, you know, barely been that patient with the kids. I'm like, look, y'all going, my kids was potty trained before they knew how to walk because I wasn't playing with that. I'm not cleaning up after nothing else. So anyway, I have that kind of relationship with animals but I do think they're like super cute and I like kind of connect with them so one day in the midst of kind of my awakening I came home and there was a big like I'm talking it had to be a Taurus this turtle was massive and it was at my doorstep okay now I lived in a townhouse so there was probably like one two three I was the third one in four five six six townhouses one row I was in the middle and so I'm like okay this is really big and I thought it was a joke I'm like did somebody put this turtle in front of my door like seriously and I knocked on my neighbor's doors and like no like Ronnie where did you get that big ass turtle I'm like dude it was on my door somebody one of y'all put this on my door trying to be funny so I I don't know it's I was sitting around with the it never left my mind that maybe that turtle was there for a reason it just never left my mind so looking back at it that was my spirit guides trying to hunch to me like we're trying to tell you something and I remember I found something online not looking it up intentionally about the turtle but there was something else I was looking at online and it was like oh the energy that animals bring and then it just like light bulb went off oh my god so let me look up the turtle so now I don't remember which website I went to then but I can't remember the article that I was reading but when I started to read up on the turtle it was connecting with where I was at that place in my life and my development basically like this is what you're going to be doing spiritually and I was like Psh, yeah right it was it was right so now let's fast forward sometime I came home again came and mind you that turtle belonged to nobody I fed it for a couple days and then I released it never seen it again so came home again and there was a toad this was not a frog okay I always thought frog and toad you're the same thing no this was massive I don't know why everything was so big maybe because like it takes that for me to be like this is something deep so um the animals know that I'm a Leo they know it takes a big shocker to get me so it was a toad it was a big ass toad on my doorstep 
And so I'm like, now at that point, I had my ex with me. So I'm like, oh, I'm not tripping. Because before he thought I went and got the turtle from somewhere. I would have thought the same thing. It was huge. But I'm like, look, I told you I wasn't tripping. Like, somebody keeps dropping animals off on the doorstep. And he's like, who would put this here? And I was like, man, because after this, I had started to develop spiritually a little bit. And I was like, man, I think it might be them spirits. Like, I know. <laughs> It's like, man, you're going crazy. You're losing it. I'm like, no, man. Like, why is there another animal? I'm like, I don't want to get do animals like that. What is this animal doing here? And so I looked up. Now I had got used to it. I looked up. Okay, let's let's find out from what I did before what the meaning of this is. Okay. So I looked up, and again, it was right on point. Like, you're going through a transformation. This is what you need to do in your life at this point. And it was like an answer to a prayer that I had been sending out because I was going through so much trying to get balance. So it was like I sent out this prayer to God, and maybe I wasn't listening through all the other channels. Maybe I wasn't meditating. Maybe because I was so stressed out, I was blocking out so much insight. So I guess God just got really creative and was like, look, we're just going to send her animals because she tends to think that's amusing. So I would like write down, okay, this is what this means. Um, and then the craziest thing, <laughs> the craziest thing that happened, I was on my deck and I was meditating and a big hawk came down. It, well, okay, let me take y'all through the steps, okay? Because I didn't know that this was a hawk. I was laying on my deck, I was meditating and I felt a gust of wind and like a sound, like. But the wind was large, okay? And I, my eyes were closed. And all I kept thinking was, oh, my God, Batman just landed on my fucking deck. And I'm going to freak. Oh, my God, something's about to pick me up and fly away with me. I was freaking out. I don't care how many hawks you see on television, you see high in the sky. It is nothing to having one just, like, land next to you. Because the gust of wind that it brought with its wing... It was like, imagine having your eyes closed and then this big gust of wind just like takes over you and you hear something like on the deck and then you can feel it. With your eyes closed, you can feel the presence of something large. And I was like, oh shit. So I slowly started to open my eyes. I was like, oh my God. And I didn't want to move because I could feel it still there. So I kind of like turned to the side a little bit and all I seen were these big claws. And I was just like, oh, that's it. It's going to claw the hell out of me. Oh, my God. That's it. What is there? What is it? A bear? Like, I was freaking out. Mind you, like, I'm on my deck, so I'm up high. I'm freaking out. I can hear my neighbor in her house washing dishes because our decks were, like, right next to each other. And I'm so stupid. I sat there and I was just like, Kristen, Kristen, Kristen. She's all the way over there. I'm like, Kristen. <laughs> of course she didn't hear me so then I thought well maybe I should just grab my phone and take a picture of it so I went to go like move my hand to get my phone to kind of slide it across the table and then I don't know it's just like I felt something so I turned my head a little bit and I sw as soon as I met with the hawk it went just like this and I was like oh shit <laughs> screw the phone I don't need the phone I don't need the phone <laughs> Yeah, like it was the most beautiful, <laughs> scariest feeling ever. And after that, it just flew away. I mean, it, it felt like a super, super long time that it was there. So I looked up spiritual meaning of a hawk. And I do remember that one was their messengers from, from loved ones and they're sending messages from the other side. So I was like, okay, at this point, I had just begun doing readings. I was connecting that with my own spirit team. It was all making sense. This is the way I started to connect with spirit animals. Now, because I am who I am, because it sometimes takes an explosion of something for me to be like, oh, okay, I get it. Um, I feel like, you know, my spirit team had to give me stuff kind of like drastic in the beginning. But now it's very subtle. It's if I see an animal and it grabs my attention, I now know I need to look that up. Now with the praying mantis this following week, I kept seeing it. And before looking it up, I looked at the praying mantis and I said, okay, what could you be bringing to me? Because I know you're bringing something. And of course, praying mantis is always, you know, look, they look like they're praying, hence the name. So I said, okay, I need to go in prayer. I pray every day. 
But I'm, I've been doing a lot of talking in prayer. I haven't really sat still in prayer. So I thought of that. Kept ignoring it, though. Kept ignoring it. Kept ignoring it. Just allowed myself to get busy, busy, busy. Writing, writing, writing. Doing all this stuff. And one day I was writing. Last week I was writing. And just as clear and loud as day, I heard a voice in my head that said, you need to take a break. And I just... I just ignored it and ignored it. And I looked up spiritual meaning of a um, praying mantis. Popped up in my head, looked it up. And it was about, it's time to be still. It's time, meditate. Meditate was like the number one thing. Go into meditation. It's time to be still. It's time to rest. And of course, great. Oh, cool spirit team word. I'll rest when I get done. Okay. Got a couple projects I got to finish. And no. And this always happens to me. And you think I'd learn by now, but I'm such a hardhead. I got sick because I could not sit still and do what I was supposed to do. Period. Because I, I'm telling you, I had um, a really high fever. I had body aches. It felt like a truck ran me over. My body was hurting so bad. A bad fever, but then I would have the chills. It was the flu to like 100. And all I could do was lay there and relax and sleep and drink tea and kind of watch Netflix. I was just going in and out. It was like I was drugged. And I remember within the day, I said, like later on in the day, I said, God, this is what you wanted me to do was rest. I know I'm hard-headed. I don't listen. And now I'm sitting here sick. And I kind of always feel like it's God's way of telling me, I told you to sit down. You didn't want to listen to me. So now I'm going to make your little ass sit down. Okay. It's always been like that. Um... So I said, I swear, I promise to you, I need to come out of this so that I can do some writing. But how about I just won't write until the weekend. I won't write till Sunday. I will completely relax and won't do nothing. The very next day, I woke up 100% better. Like I was not sick at all. Um, I know that it was the flu. I know the way things work with me. So the praying mantis was kind of like the last sign. I told you to sit down and relax. You're overdoing it. There's a lot of things going on right now. I'm dealing with this adrenal fatigue. If you guys have ever heard about this, it is just like, um, when I went through a really tough time a couple years back, my body got really used to the stress. And this is why I'm always stressing to you guys, take care of yourself. If things are making you unhappy, you got to fix it and you got to get out of there. Um, because of those years that I've dealt with that and I did not walk away, the stress was causing, I was over exerting my adrenal glands. So, um, I was producing a lot of cortisol and I wasn't stopping. I was doing so much and I wasn't losing weight. And I was like, what is going on? And so I finally had to go to a holistic doctor because my doctor sucked. Um, and it was just like textbook. So I have been taking supplements, vitamins. I actually think I'm about to do vegan because my body is calling for it. So um, it's vitally important that you guys take the shit that we stress about, man, to... To the degree that, you know, dealing with this adrenal fatigue, I really have to take, I have to get a lot of rest. Um, and that's hard to do when you have four kids and you run a business. Although I love my business, it's still kind of hard to do for me to sit my butt down. But I'm, I'm working on that. I'm balancing that out. So I've taken some things off of my plate. I am definitely doing that yoga. Ugh. So I reached out to a friend of mine this morning. It's like a yoga expert. And she's like, one day at a time. So I'm like, I got today's the first day I had my conditioner in my hair I was like while my conditioner is soaking I'm going to do some yoga but guys man I'm gonna talk about this on a goddess chat because it's important stress is it is a killer it is a freaking killer and we know that but the intensity of it and what it does to you mentally spiritually and physically it's it's not worth being in a situation where you are constantly stressed it is it's your life that you have to save walking the hell away but again i'll talk about that later um as far as spirit animals there are so many different websites and i'm gonna leave a website in the description that i follow that i go to whenever i need to know um when i see an animal it's kind of like i'll go right there or sometimes i'll just hey google what's the spiritual meaning of this squirrel sitting on my deck <laughs> so like and it just seems like i'll get the perfect answer so um Go with 
intuitively what you feel is the best thing when you guys are scrolling down google you want to look on something to see okay what's the significance of this animal if you click on a website and it doesn't open right away psh, back up go to the next one there's reasons for everything intuitively just be led to the one that you're supposed to see but do what i did with the praying mantis sit with that animal for a minute look at that animal and the way it maneuvers the the lifestyle that that animal has and you will be able to distinguish the meaning and what your spirit team what your higher self is trying to relate to you about that animal and its relation to your life there are so many different websites so many different books and a lot of them have different meanings for the same animal so I've kind of perfected what I do to find my meaning, but perfect yours. Remember, and I always want to, when I'm up here on these videos, teach you guys, one thing that I always want to stress is there's information everywhere, but you are unique and you have your own experience with spirit and with life and with God. So use that uniqueness, use that and determine what does this animal see? What does this animal feel and see to me? Because it may not be the same thing for this person, but what does it feel to me? How do I connect with this animal? Like I said, see the way that animal lives, the way it raises its family, the way it even moves and walks. You know, even think about a fox. Fox are known for being slick and sly. And whenever I have my animal tarot cards and a fox, you know, I turn over a fox, I know somebody's making some moves that aren't genuine. You know, like that's how it speaks to me. And that's even when you all are, um, which we built another video for reading your cards, use your intuition. Use your intuition. It doesn't always have to be this is exactly what it says it has to be. Use your intuition. Spirit animals are very important. I had a black cat that was hanging around my house for a, it just came out of nowhere. And um, I had asked a friend of mine, and she is a psychic. She's also a witch. And she's like, oh, your familiar came back. It must be trying to protect you from something. And lo and behold, somebody crazy, not mentally like off. When I say crazy, I mean you want to test my limits and have me get crazy on your ass crazy. Okay, so no offense on, you know, what you may have taken the first way. But um, somebody a little off the rocker that wanted me to get out of my zen showed up at my house. Um, this was really somebody random. I did not know them. It was just like somebody in the neighborhood. And um, they were off. And it was because of that cat. And when I, you know, researched, okay, what is this black cat doing? She's following me around my house, yet she's not in my house. It was weird. Um, every time I would come out, she's there. She would just stand and look at me. It's almost like she would stand guard at my door at night. And so she, her coming to me helped me prepare for that because I was on the lookout. From once, from the moment that I knew the um, what the cat was all about, I was completely on the lookout so my kids are coming home from school I'm making a video so can you please leave back out that door until I get finished thank you and I hope you had a good day at school and I will check those papers as soon as I get done peace love and blessings it don't matter how many times you tell kids don't come in my room if the door is shut because you know these old houses don't have locked doors okay yeah then do they care no just barge right in because mom doesn't have any privacy she's our mother she's supposed to take care of us so anyway um that's my cat because i was so prepared for my cat i for, from that cat showing up and from what my friend had told me I was already on the lookout so I had already did my prayers I had already cleansed my house again and put up some protection stones so I was very taken care of and I am grateful to spirit when they are creative in that nature to send animals my way so if you're open to it let your spirit team know hey I'm open for you all using animals to send me messages it is a beautiful thing a lot of you all are getting the butterflies and certain birds I'm telling you if you have there's millions of birds flying around you all day but if you happen to see one that just catches your eye look up the spiritual meaning to that bird i guarantee it's going to speak to you but like i was saying intuitively connect with that animal to try and get the message first so you're not getting so caught up in other people's meanings because we all have different perceptions on things and again 
our experiences with spirit are similar but yet different so you don't want to take a message that someone else got and make it your own that animal is going to speak to you completely different sometimes it may be the same but you have to have that experience yourself always know that whatever it is that you are supposed to know and feel it is truly already within you and i know we hear this a lot it's already within you all the answers are within and you're like oh why the hell don't i know them they are there we just kind of overlook it and we kind of look for it to be something different or show up a completely different way it's super subtle and it's all there for you i promise you whatever you want just ask you guys got to start learning how to ask questions spirit team i need help doing this Spirit team, what's the best thing I can do? Oh, when I say spirit team, that's my crew, okay? That's the ancestors, that's the spirit guides, that's the angels, and that's mother and father God. Oh, my spirit team is deep, honey. And all the people that I've done readings for, trust and believe me, your family members, they don't all, I mean, they go away, but like, I, it's so weird. You know, like for those of you that do readings, it's kind of like you have this spiritual family too, and I totally appreciate them, but um, yeah, my spirit crew, pfft, we're deep, okay? So when they send me messages, it's we have fun. And um, I actually got a um, new little exercise that I have been doing. It's not new, but I've just really been liking it, communicating with my spirit team through my cards. Um, just literally writing down a list of questions and laying out my cards and just using my intuition as to which card to pick up. And I'm telling you, I, I pre-write the questions and it just seems like they're all, it's answered like insane. It, it's crazy. Um, it's just so, I love it. We're having, me and my spirit team are having like a lot of fun doing that. You guys, if you haven't tried it, you should try it. Just make a list of questions of things that you need to know at this time in your life. Take your tarot or oracle cards, lay them off face down and just spread them around everywhere. Remember that game, that memory game we would play when we were kids? You just like pick a card up, flip it over. Kind of like that. So you have your questions and you say, okay guys, here's my questions. Then you go into prayer and then you um, just pick a card. All right, I'm going to work on the first question. Pick a card, and I guarantee it's going to answer the first question. It's We've been, like, vibrating really high. Um, I don't know. We've been, like, really communicating. It's different from me just doing, like, a regular tarot or oracle spread. It just feels more um, personal. And, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, is this right? No, I'm going to need to pick another card. But when this way, it just, everything's really cool. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you all. So, anyway, we are done talking about spirit animals. I know that it wasn't a long lengthy this is what this animal means this is what that animal means because my goal was to help you connect with them in the way you connect with them using your intuition and having your own personal experience with the animals that are being sent your way um a lot of you are definitely which i definitely believe in our totem totem animal which is one that just kind of sticks with you that you connect with and it's just like this is my this is my totem this is me um, this is me in animal form. This is the animal and this energy of this animal follows me everywhere and throughout this lifetime. That is a little different. Um, that is one that sticks with you for so long. But see, with me, I, I, minds have always changed. And I know that, of course, that's okay. It's okay. So I don't necessarily identify with just one animal. Um other than me being a Leo, my lioness, which I have tatted all over me in various areas. <laughs> if anything, she's my totem because I'm Leo all the freaking way, okay? 100% Leo. So, um, yeah. But I just wanted to talk about spirit animals. I just wanted to talk about these animals coming to you and giving you very strong messages. And when you are praying to your spirit team and to your loved ones and to God, just remember, they are all very creative. If you look around, Source has created everything. Colors, feelings, emotions, animals, every single thing around you. So don't think that our creator is just like, well, I'm just going to answer you in your head or in a dream. There are a million different ways. And I always tell people, when you pray for something, you'll receive your answer through your feelings, through your creativity, through animals, through insight. It's there. It's all in the emotion and feeling and intuition. Okay. Um, that's where I see source being extremely loud for me. So, um, and I've seen for a lot of people else. I want to share that with you. <laughs> so what's this? 
Oh, I got another comment. Yay! Okay, so anyway, you guys, I have to get going. Kids are getting home from school. I gotta kiss my babies and hear all their crazy stories. You should hear my daughter's stories. They're like, oh my god. Mom, so today, let me tell you what Kayla did. She is such a baby. Can you believe that? And it's like so funny because she gets into it. Like she's a grown woman and this this is real. So I gotta go check in on elementary soap opera and I will get in touch with you guys Wednesday. You're gonna get another video from me. Again, thank you for all the love that you sent me while I was sick. I love you guys and I can't wait to do this again, which is Wednesday. Peace. <laughs>